guys, iOS 11.0.2 is here. And this mainly fixes some bugs in your iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, but it also has some minor bug fixes in other devices. And today in this video, we're gonna be finding out whether the iPad performs better in iOS 11.0.2 as compared to iOS 11.0.1 .1 in two areas. One is battery and the other one is uh, the performance, the Geekbench performance. So as you can see, there are three main issues that it fixes. The first issue is it fixes the crackling sound that may occur during calls in iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. The second issue which it fixes is some of the photos became hidden. And the third issue which is it fixes is attachments of encrypted emails of MIME and SMIME would not open. These are the three issues that were, that were mainly fixed. So before we proceed on with the Geekbench score, I'd like to show you which version of iOS I'm running. As you can see, I'm running iOS 11.0.1 .1 with the build number 15A402. The update was about 280 megabytes and after extracting, uh, the upgrade was about 1.54 gigabytes. And now I'm gonna be going to my general again to see the storage and I'm gonna be taking a screenshot so that it's easy. So uh, here you can see capacity is 256 and available is 239.66 gigabytes. So I'm now gonna be uh, uh, making a time-lapse video of the Geekbench. So as you can see Geekbench is here and I'm gonna be running the benchmark score. So guys, I'm running the Geekbench score in iOS 11.0.1. .1. So once this test finishes, I'm really eager to know what score I'm getting. So let's see. So guys, as you can see, I got a single core score of 3830 and a multi-core score of 8809. So now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be opening an application and I'm gonna be uh, running it for approximately five minutes and I'm gonna be seeing how much battery it's drained up. I have currently 76 percentage and let me open up a video. Let me go to YouTube and I go to no copyright sound and let's open up any song and if you do want to have a great uh, audio for your videos you can get it from them just don't forget to uh, link their channel in the description below their channel is really good so as you can see it's 334 so I'm gonna be again doing a time-lapse video to check how much battery is drained in five minutes of of its usage and if there is no drop in the percentage I'm gonna be wait waiting till it drops to 75 so guys, the test has begun and currently I'm having 76% of battery and and I'm going to be running this video for about 5 minutes and I'm going to be checking after the end of 5 minutes how much percentage of battery I'm remaining with. So the brightness is about at 50% and the volume is also at 50%. So guys, as you can see, the device has successfully upgraded to iOS 11.0.2. Yeah, so we are here in the desktop. So let's go and check the build number which it has got. So software upgrade, it says it is up to date at iOS 11.0.2. .2. And here also, as you can see, capacity remains at 256 gigabytes, but the available space is now 240. So let's take a screenshot and compare it with the previous versions. So let me go there, open here, done, save this. So guys, as you could see on iOS 11.0.1, .1, I had 239.66 gigabytes. And now when I have upgraded to iOS 11.0.2, .2, as you can see, I'm having 240.21 gigabytes. So about 400 megabytes of free space I got from uh, the upgrade over here. And I'm gonna be running the Geekbench and then I'm gonna be telling you what are the scores here, again in time-lapse. So guys, the Geekbench has started and I'm looking forward to a single core score of somewhat like 4,000 and a multi-core score of about 9,000. So let's see what I get. So guys, as you can see, the Geekbench has completed the benchmark test and I got a single core score of 3888 and a multi-core score of 8843. So now I'm gonna be comparing the results as compared to iOS 10.0.1. .1. So the single core score was 3830 and now it has become 3888. It has gone up by a small amount and multi-core score was 8809 it has gone up to 8843 so if you expect your iPad to perform 
significantly better. That's not going to happen. It, it's going to perform the same. The performance has not gone down. That's the plus point here. Now the same thing I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be opening YouTube and then I'm going to be running the no copyright sound. The same audio file. So NCS. And I'm going to be running the same audio file in time lapse and then we're going to be seeing how much the battery drains. So if you saw the previous time when I run it in iOS 11.0.1, I lost about 2%. Now I'm at 70%. Let's see if the drain is about 68% or it goes even below. From what I can see, the battery is draining at the same rate as compared to the iOS 11.0.1. So I think the good news here is since the battery is not draining faster, the battery life will remain about the same even in iOS 11.0.2. So you need not worry about the battery life here. So guys, as expected, the battery life remains the same in iOS 11.0.2 as compared to iOS 11.0.1. So if you ask me whether or not you should upgrade, I, should, I would say that you can go ahead and upgrade in all the iPads because it seems that the performance will remain the same and the battery life won't even go down. So it's better to be using a version of iOS which is free from bugs. So that's it guys for this video. I'll see you up on the next video. Until next time, it's peace out.